Welcome to Diogo with Brie. If this is your vibe, hit like and subscribe. Hello friends, it's Brie and welcome back to my channel. Now, I was a little hesitant in doing this because video. Because I am doing another review slash haul video and I'm doing them back to back. And I don't want this channel to necessarily be fully about reviews and hauls, though you'll tend to gravitate to that. So, I mean, it does give me an excuse to shop and try new things. If you didn't watch my video for last week, make sure to check that out and comment down below. Today we are reviewing a vegan beauty brand called Merit. And Merit has been all over my Instagram feeds as I assume it's probably all over in your Instagram feeds because we more than likely are getting the same ads. Who are we kidding? And I've been very excited to try it because it's a woman owned, it's clean beauty, and they keep stuff short, sweet, and to the point, just like I like to do these videos. So let's hop right Let's in. start with the box. I love that this box is super simple. I know some brands love to do like this over the top packaging, but I really care about the environment and I'd rather you just send me what I need rather than it being like really over the top. Now I do love that like experience you get when you open something and it's a little like spicy, but having something just clean and simple is key, especially when you're a clean beauty brand. When you open this, it says less is more, so it's already calling that out, that you don't need a whole bunch of stuff. And what's most important is what's inside. Like when you open something, aren't you just been waiting for it for, I mean, usually two to three days, the way our shipping is, but you've been waiting for it and you're like, dude, I totally want this, where's my stuff? And it's less is more. Whatever is in here is what you get automatically in love. Look at this little freaking bag they give you. Oh my gosh. It's like a little clutch that's holding the makeup in there. This is the cutest. I'm gonna put the box down. We're gonna take a moment for this. It is a corduroy kind of material. Corduroy always reminds me of like childhood and Winnie the Pooh. Why? I have no clue. But I love corduroy and it just ties. It's like a little tie clutch. My best friend would love this. I love this too, but I just know she would love this. She's probably going to take this from me. Nina, you can have it if you really want it because I know you. This is such a Nina bag. When you open the bag, Oh, it has the little label on the inside, so you still get like that branding. If you know me, I'm all about aesthetic and I love stuff like this, so that is amazing. And then inside are my two items that I was gifted. So thank you so much for gifting this to me. I have my shade lip gloss and I chose, what color did I get? Do, 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 pink beet. Doesn't that sound cute? I'm the only person when I hear Beats thinks of that old like cartoon Doug. Anyone else? Comment down below if you think about Doug, if you know about Doug. I love how this packaging looks. Again, it's that same color that coordinates with the box. I'm all about aesthetic. They are on brand. And then I also got brow um, pomade. If you're like, what is that? I'm gonna get up close. You guys ready? Do First of all, I have no makeup on today, so bear with me. I have a little mascara on and I had some eyeshadow on earlier, but I did take a nap. <laughs> so I'm pretty much a fresh faced right now. But as you see, I have really crazy thick eyebrows. They've always been like this. In fact, when my sister had my nieces, the first thing she said to me was, oh my God, they have your eyebrows. <laughs> I'm the only person besides my nieces in my family that have these crazy thick eyebrows. Everyone else has like these perfectly arched thin eyebrows, but thick eyebrows are in now, so I'm trending now. And I got the little brow um, eyebrow pomade. So we'll try both of these. Drum roll, please. What should we start with first? Should we do the lip? I'm gonna save the lip, cause I, you know, I'm known for my lips. I've got a little Angelina Jolie thing going. Um, we are gonna start with the brows. <laughs> I should have gotten my brows done, and by getting them done, I mean I should have done them myself, which I clearly did not do before this. But this is the true test of time here, is how they're going to be with them not done. Let's open this up. 
Oh my gosh, y'all. The color of this is black and brown, and I will make sure to leave in the description box the link to this. But I'm the reason why I'm saying, oh my gosh, gold is my favorite color, like absolute favorite color. I know most of you think it's probably pink because I will have a lot of pink aesthetic, but gold is actually my favorite color, and this is so pretty. And it has merit on here. It's like labeled. I wish I had a pen this color. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm a little nervous. Which way does this go? Not the best with makeup and things. I keep things very short and sweet. Mascara, lip balm, I'm out the door. Um, so me even going this far to do something with my brows is pretty major. I have a dinner tonight. I'm going to like a business dinner um, and I want to spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to do my brows. So this comes out and it looks almost like a mascara wand, but like a baby version and it's a little thicker. You see that? And it's short. He's like a little shorty and it's so cute. I just, I'm all about cuteness factor. I've already dipped it once. I'm not going to dip it again because I don't want my brows to look like I drew them on. I feel like I should do this in the mirror and not in the camera, but let's try it and see what happens. Okay. I'm just going to gently, wow, shape my brows. Now I will admit I did Google like how you're supposed to use this before using it because again, I am not a makeup queen. I should have texted my sisters. Y'all know I always text my sisters when it comes to makeup stuff. Wowzers though. It's like getting my eyebrow and like, it's tame in this girl. Wow. Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Like you see how there's like just some under hair there. I might have to go to the bathroom and do some plucking. Okay, let's do the other one. Pause. I'll make sure to do a side by side of my face. So let's just split this baby in half here. Here's me. This side has the eyebrow done. This side doesn't. Do you see the difference? It's a pretty big freaking difference. This one's doing all kinds of stuff over there. We are so close to my face. First of all, anyway, good thing I'm comfortable in my own skin. Okay, let's do eyebrow number two. I should have took a before and after picture, but it's too late. I'm, I'm too far gone. Wowzers, I'm freaking loving this. I can't believe I'm doing this just by looking in the camera. I don't know how people do that. Wow. Okay. First of all, we all see how my right eyebrow like behaves itself. The left was not this copacetic. Whoa. It looks so freaking good. Okay. Now I feel like I should do something more to this left side, but now I'm worried I'm going to be like making it look too dark. Yeah. The left is just not going to behave itself. Yeah, the left never really shapes well. It just kind of does whatever the heck it wants. It's also a little longer than the right. So I always have to be mindful of that, but wow. Wow, my eyebrows, and they don't look too dark either. I was really concerned about the darkness level. Like if these were gonna be too dark or not, like if it was gonna look like I like got a permanent marker and like did my eyebrows because I already have such dark eyebrows and such dark hair, but it looks fab. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'll do a side by side. I'll do a little snapshot from the video and do a little side by side so you can see. That's a huge difference. I have classes starting at 7 a.m. in the morning and because I live in LA, I have to leave my house at like six to be there properly on time and not be stressed out from traffic. So I wake up between five to 5.15 in the morning and this is amazing because that took me, what, one minute to do? And my classes are not only in person, but they're also broadcasted online. So people are up close in my face during it. And now I can have my eyebrows done and it looks like I fully have put myself together. This is amazing. Love this so far. And it already sold me with this. Like how cute is that? The lip. I'm very excited. Again, this color is pink beaked. Now this isn't a long lasting lip gloss, so you will have to reapply it. Lips are just in their natural format, <laughs> natural format, <laughs> their natural color. <laughs> My lips are in their natural oil on there. 
but there's nothing else on my lip. Let me get close so you can see the color. I love, again, the branding is on point. Gold's my favorite color. Wow, that's really pretty. I'm excited. Let's see what it looks like on. I'm already loving it. So it's not quite pink, like when, like traditional pink. It's almost pink meets tangerine. I don't know if tangerine would be the best color to say it. It's kind of has orange undertones in this pink. I have very full lips, so I use a lot of lip gloss, y'all. I can't tell you how much lip gloss I go through. I love the little, what is this thing called? <laughs> That's how non makeup y I am, is that I don't even know what this is called, the little lip brush. I love the brush, I had to think about that. It's so soft. I've had some that are like this stick brush and you can almost feel the stick through the end of it and you can't feel that, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, I freaking love this color. It's easy little twist. This is so small, it will fit into any little bag, like a little clutch, which I'll be carrying tonight. It will easily fit into there. This will also re really easily fit into a clutch. I feel like, not to completely go off lip subject, but I feel like if you didn't have mascara, but you had this in your bag, you could just use this for a little bit mascara too. It may not go on as well as you would want it to, but I don't know. Should we do a little bit? Let's just do a test. Sorry to distract from the lip, but let's just do a little test. I have some mascara on right now, but again, I took that nap, y'all. So I could use a little bit more. Oh, yeah. So you could use this if, like, they have mascara. So just go buy the mascara. But if you, for some reason, left your mascara at home, but you had this in your purse, you could use that. Let's check out the lip. I'm pulling my hair back and then I'll bring my hair forward so you kind of get, this is more than likely the look I'm going to do tonight is this really boho vibes look. I might undo these braids and just wear it big and curly, but the lip is fabulous. This is a natural light. I'm sitting in front of my window slash door as we all know. I got prom lighting, honey. That's why I love this space so much. This lip is just phenomenal. It complements a warmer skin tone really well. I feel like it almost brings out my freckles some. What do y'all think? I'm looking at myself, so sorry if you're re-watching this and you're like, why is she looking over there? Because I'm looking at myself because I'm trying to decide, hey, how does this look? And I'm loving it. Look how simple that is. I don't have anything else on. All I have is my brows done and my lip and I'm ready to go. I'm not going to add on anything else. As I said, I had a little mascara on earlier and now I've just reapplied with this brow brush a little, um, little something to my eyelashes. And then I had on just, I always wear kind of a golden little shimmer eyeshadow and that clearly has been taken off now that I took this nap earlier, but I'm loving it. Wow, this is really nice. Now I will admit, this is my first unboxing of this. I did sneak out the lip gloss this weekend to wear before I made this video because I really wanted to try this lip gloss. And you do have to reapply it. You know, I keep it real. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Every time you reapply it, it just looks so luscious. And when you need to reapply it, it doesn't, like your lips don't look ashy. You still have that tint, so it's just like a lighter tint. It's almost like, it's like a matte, and then you just gloss it back up. I'm, I'm in love. Look how simple that was. So thank you, Merit, for gifting me these items. Please check the description box below. As you saw in the pop-ups, it shows you how much these were and it has the links down below. I am so very honored to have a specialized link for each of you down below, so definitely click that. If you have any questions, if you're loving the haul videos and you want me to make this channel just hauls, 
comment down below. I mean, I don't need an excuse to shop more, but I'm taking it into consideration because I do enjoy these videos a lot too. Um, but if you are still down for the yoga tips and tricks, some of those Instagram tips, just my whole life in general, then let me know that down below too because it's good to know. If this was your vibe, please hit the like and the subscribe and I will see each of you very soon. Have a beautiful day, everyone.